Thank you, Doug, uh, for this overview and providing us with promising results. Um, our next speaker is Dr. Uh, Chu. He's professor and the chief scientist of the unit for high consequence swine viral diseases at the Harbin Veterinary Research Institute in China. And I am honored that he will talk about recent advances on ASF vaccines in Harbin. His research is currently focused on the regulation of viral replication, violence determinants and development of diagnostic assays and marker vaccines for classical swine fever, African swine fever, and also for pseudorabies. Professor Chu is also a member of the ASFA viral uh, study group at the ICTV. And we are very happy that you are here. The floor is yours. Hello, everyone. My name is Hua Jie Chiu from Harbin Veterinary Research Institute, CAAS China. It's my great pleasure to join this webinar. My topic is generation and evaluation of African swine fever virus mutant with the deletion of the CD2V and the UK genes. This is the outline. African swine fever, ASF, is a highly contagious hemorrhagic disease with high mortality in domestic pigs and wild boar. It is a notifiable disease to the OIE. It is endemic or sporadic in Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe. It is a great threat to the pork industry worldwide. ASF is caused by African swine fever virus, ASFV. It is a not double-stranded DNA virus. It is classified in the genus Aspavirus of the Aspaviridae family. Currently, 24 genotypes of the virus have been identified. Its genome size ranges from 170 to 194 kilobase, including for 150 to 167 open reading frames. To develop ASF vaccines, different strategies have been tried including electivated vaccines, peptide vaccines, DNA vaccines, naturally attenuated vaccines, cell culture adapted vaccines, and gene deleted vaccines. Generally, killed vaccine and subunit vaccines cannot provide protection or provide limited protection. However, no vaccine can provide full protection but they have some safety issues. To date, different genes have been targeted to develop gene disease vaccines, including CD2V, UK, and others. The CD2V protein is a structural transmembrane glycol protein. It is responsible for hemorrhagic of red blood cells around the ASV infected cells and inhibiting lymphocyte proliferation. The deletion of this gene reduces the virulence of some strains, but some strains cannot be attenuated by the deletion of this gene. The UK gene is highly conserved among different strains. It has been showed UK gene deleted virus showed reduced virulence and vermeer in pigs. Suggesting the UK gene is a virulence associated gene. So, the objectives of this study were to generate a mutant virus by sequential deletion of the virulence associated CD2V and the UK genes, and to evaluate the virulence and the protection of the mutant virus as a vaccine candidate. This is the research roadmap. First, we need to generate a double gene deleted virus by homologous recombination, and they identify the virus in vitro and in vivo. Firstly, we develop two transfer vectors targeting the CD2V and the UK genes. Firstly, we transfect PM cells with the 
transfer vector targeting CD2V, and then infect the cells with the, the wild type virus SY18 strain. After infection, we screened the recombinant virus based on EGFP fluorescence and purified the virus by limiting dilution. Then we transfect the PM cells with a larger transfer vector targeting UK gene, and then infect the cells with the mutant virus with the CD2V lesion. After infection, we screened the, vir the recombinant virus based on red fluorescence. Then we identify the virus by PCR as expected the CD2V and the UK genes have been deleted from the virus. To confirm the absence of CD2V in the mutant virus, we examined hemidosorption activity of the mutant. As expected, the mutant virus has lost hemidosorption activity. Then we compare the growth curves of the mutant virus with the multiple virus. The two virus rings show similar growth curves in PAM cells. To evaluate the virulence and the protection of the mutant virus, 10 peaks were randomly assigned to two groups. One group were immunized with the mutant virus, the other group were immunized with the PPS as a control. After 28 days, we challenged the pigs with the wild type virus SY18 strain and observed for 21 days. We examined the clinical signs, regular temperature, and detect viral DNA in blood samples and laser swabs by PCR and examined the pathological lesions of the dead pigs. The pigs immunized the mutant virus displayed normal regular temperature similar to the control pigs. Following viral challenge, the immunized pigs remained normal, while the control pigs showed high fever. Following viral challenge, the mutant virus immunized pigs all survived, but the control pigs or developed a killed form of ASV and died or eternized in severe conditions between 6 and 11 days post the challenge. Before the challenge, no viral DNA was detected in the blood samples of all the pigs. After the challenge, only no level DNA copies were detected from the mutant virus immunized pigs after 18 days post the challenge, but the high level viral DNA copies were detected in the control pigs. Before the challenge, no viral DNA was detected from lesser swabs of all the pigs. After the challenge, low level copies of viral DNA were detected from the mutant virus immunized pigs. In contrast, High-level copies of viral DNA were detected in the control peaks. We used the ELISA targeting P72 and P30 to detect antibodies. All the mutant virus immunized peaks developed high-level antibodies. At the end of the experiment, the tissues of the peaks were collected to detect viral DNA by real-time PCR. The results showed that only no level of copies of viral DNA were detected from the tan cells and the liver loss of the mutant virus. By real time PCR, the results showed that. Only no level of copies of viral DNA were detected from the tan cells and the liver loss of the mutant virus immunized pigs. In contrast, 
high-level copies of viral DNA were detected in various tissues of the tumor pigs. At accuracy, ASF essential isolations were observed in the control pigs, but not in the mutant virus immunized pigs. So, in conclusion, the CD2V and the UK deleted virus was safe for weaned piglets, and the vaccine candidate was able to provide complete clinical protection, but not virological protection from virulent challenges. In the future, we will optimize the clinical vaccine and the vaccination procedure and evaluate the protection with different doses and administration dose and the protection of peaks of different ages and stages and the duration of the protection. We would like to thank Professor Hu Rongliang, Dr. Sun Yuan, Dr. Tashila, Professor Linda Dickson, and other contributors. This work was supported by the National K-R&D Project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Huachi, to um, share this uh, information with us. Uh, please keep asking questions in the Q&A box. Um, the speakers are available and they will answer the questions in writing. We will take some on later on.